Well, hello everyone. I have here a new review for you. This is the Skyler Classic KJV. Uh, this is uh, an excellent Bible for study, and uh, I don't know for how long more uh, you're gonna be able to get this edition. So it could be a, a real classic. In, in, in a short time. Yeah. Now, this Bible has over 200,000 cross references with good size, clear, readable print in a very attractive new setting you're gonna see soon and includes concordance, maps, um, and, uh, and a bunch of uh, study material at the end, at the back of it, uh, also, as well as an excellent uh, printing and binding. Uh, I think this is a, a, an edition that you don't want to let go. Now, the size is 8.4 inches tall uh, by 6 inches uh, wide uh, and a very thin uh, uh, 1.3 inches of thickness. The print size is 9.6 and uh, it comes with art gilding and uh, it's edge uh, lined uh, well perimeter stitching top notch Skyler what can I say so here we go this is uh, the green edition with a, a dark brown uh, uh, calf skin in the interior this is goat skin with the Jerusalem uh, cross and the spine is a very clean spine Holy Bible, King James uh, version, uh, and the Skyler logo too. Now it comes with one, two, three, four, five, and six uh, hubs right here. And these ones are done uh, with a very nice tooling. Uh, they are not raised, although you can actually feel a little bit of that uh, uh, lovely tooling if you just rub your finger around it. Now the texture of this uh, uh, grain is is a little bit uh, coarse but it is smooth it's not if it if that makes sense uh, it's a deep grain but it, uh, it's not rough if, if uh, you know what uh, I'm trying to say right here uh, the perimeter is stitched all around the perimeter you can see right here it's all stitched and uh, it comes with uh, three lovely very sport ribbons uh, and three uh, gold I'd say it's uh, three different tones of gold, uh, lighter, uh, darker, and just regular, and I think they're very nice. Uh, the actual gilding, gold gilding of the pages is awesome. You can see right here how that shines, it's unbelievable. The way it's done, it's so nice. You can see there, and it's uh, also art gilded. And the pages are, as you can see here, in a very nice uh, light red, nearly like a salmon color. And uh, we have a couple of, uh, at the beginning of the Bible, a couple of uh, cardstock, blank cardstock, cardstock. This one is printed and bound in the Netherlands by John Blood. And this is indeed the authorized version. Of the Bible. Here we have uh, the letter to King James, translators to the reader. Now this paper, although it is uh, is thin, is very opaque and a very very high quality paper, very smooth. And uh, I think you will enjoy this paper. You have here some uh, also very helpful characteristics of, the, of this Bible, explain to you the usage of thou's and the ye's and so on, which is very good for the King James and why is that. And this is the beginning of the, the Bible, uh, Genesis right here, here we go. So as you can see here, Genesis comes with a little introduction and that happens on each chapter of this Bible. And this is a double column. Uh, Bible and uh, it is verse by verse which is I think is great for for preaching uh, you will find each verse one above the other it's, it's great uh, the references which this one has over 200,000 of them are right beside each text so you for example read this one because you just passed against me among the children of Israel and the waters so on so here you have a, a notation uh, with a letter C 
all you need to do is go right next to it and you will find the references with the letter C. It is really that simple. And uh, I want to show you something really nice uh, with this Bible, for example. Uh, you all know that uh, the King James sometimes may use some archaic uh, language, uh, although it is a beautiful language. Uh, for some people that could be a bit uh, hard to be understood properly. So what we have here in this version, in this edition, sorry, is something like, for example, we're reading uh, Psalm 119, verse 149. Hear my voice according unto thy loving kindness, O Lord, quicken me according to thy judgment. What's the meaning of quicken? Well, right next to it, you have quicken, bring to life. So that is great, just to have next to each uh, archaic, by, uh, sorry, archaic word, the actual meaning in modern English. I think that is a great uh, improvement and a great help Let's go. This is a black letter, and as you can see, this font is very, very readable. Check that out. Very crisp. Very easy to read. It's a 9.5. It's, it's, a, it's a very nice size. I'm very pleased with this. And here we got the Gospels. You can see it's black letter. For some people, the red letter, they are, for some reason, not they don't like it. So this is a black letter and uh, you won't get distracted with any red. This printing is absolutely gorgeous. It's uh, very crisp all throughout this Bible and uh, very clean. Uh, as you can see in this uh, edition, you have a, a very nice little space in between the two columns, which I think is great to ease your reading and uh, your eyes will actually be thankful for that uh, that actually it doesn't it does make a difference to have that here when you're reading and uh, let's keep going let's go to the back uh, we have a very uh, nice uh, appendix one with uh, uh, weights and measures and uh, using the holy scriptures look at these tables uh, which are another help for your your studies gives you measurements and values for example money in US dollars pounds as well and it gives you also the references where that is being used same as uh, uh, you have here uh, for example uh, the measures of uh, uh, pints and liters when the Hebrew actually says there's a sea uh, which is six caps uh, or Omer what's the Omer uh, seven longs, one tenth of an EFA, uh, which is 7.5 pints of 3.6 liters. That is just re nice references to have there. So I'm telling you, if you are really into studying, you will appreciate to have all this here. Then we have a list of uh, words and proper names with uh, their pronunciations in a very nice uh, layout one, two, three, and four column layout, very extensive. I think yeah, most of the names of the Bible right here. And then you've got also a daily reading plan right here uh, for two years. This is the first year and this is the second year. And you've got the concordance here in appendix four, two column, very nice font. I'd say this probably is a 7.5 font for a concordance. Very easy to read, check that out. I think you'll be very happy to see a concordance so well. And then after the concordance, we have 15, 16 blank pages in, in, in there are no lines, but, or rules, sorry, but they're just there for you to use uh, in the same paper as the Bible. But it's a very opaque paper, very dense. And uh, if you use your micro pens, you will have no problems to write here without any bleed through whatsoever. Now, after this, we got uh, an appendix five with maps. Now this is cardstock, but the maps here are so cool. Check that out. They're using a very modern uh, type of setting, colors and, and font that uh, I think uh, it really does change the way you used to see uh, maps in the scripture. 
uh, the Exodus this is map number two right here uh, I think it's uh, very nice and uh, again the only thing I don't like about it is they still put Mount Sinai right here where we know it was over here and not there why because the Bible says so <laughs> now these are the 12 tribes of Israel and uh, you have uh, the undivided kingdom this is the divided kingdom house of Judah the house of Israel southern kingdom northern kingdom uh, this is Judah and uh, Benjamin and you got the other 10 tribes uh, known also as Ephraim or Joseph that went to exile to Assyria in 722 BC while Judah went to Babylon in 587 BC in Judah well we have returned to the land Israel still to come as Genesis says Israel or Ephraim was to become a multitude of nations they went to exile for 2730 years of punishment according to the scriptures of the prophets and we are waiting for the northern kingdom the ten tribes of Israel to return alongside big brother Judah now we have here uh, maps of uh, the Persian Empire right there the Holy Land in the times of uh, Messiah we have here Judea and Samaria and uh, right here we got the uh, missionary journeys of the Apostle Shaul also known in the Greek world as uh, Paul so we got also right here one one actually and two uh, cardstock that's your brown uh, vinyl line uh, sorry and and sheet and then you have here again our lovely this is amazing the feel of this and check that out it's so flexible and this is a very thick, one of the thickest pieces of leather that I found in the uh, premium Bible uh, uh, world. Once again, I want, you to sh I want to show you uh, this lovely grain, this Bible. I think it's excellent. It really is. And uh, that's it. That's this, uh, uh, the Skylar uh, Classic KJV uh, Bible. It's not heavy, it's very thin. The paper is excellent. The, the font is unbelievable. This is a very underrated uh, 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 Bible. I think this is one of the best Bibles. It's very flexible, as you can see here. You can fold it over. You can do uh, all of that. And uh, there is there. I think it's great. And it comes with this lovely box similar to the ones that uh, Alan uh, Bibles uh, come with uh, there you go and I hope uh, this has been of uh, help to you please like us share this video with others if you think they would be interested in uh, getting this uh, Bible also I'll put the link uh, down below in the description on this video so you can go direct to this uh, lovely Bible and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe if you haven't done so um, this is all for today talk to you soon Shalom